Harvey Ledbetter. Our heads in paradise, I which is what we're going to be doing. And, uh, you know, listen, uh, Rick and, and that whole bunch there, the, the technical difficulties with them, we just ain't got time for that, right? We ain't got time for it. <laughs> so hopefully we can get uh, B-Man in here. Let's see here. Can you hear us, brother? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I got to tell you, man, I can't. Hey. I can't thank you enough for uh, just having the ability to work with you. <laughs> because I can eat 50 eggs. <laughs> you know because uh you know i'm, I'm trying to get uh, eric and uh, patty and alex you know all of them together you know might have enough change to get to, to go in a phone booth to do the technical things to come out call into the show and all this stuff you know but they just can't figure it out but so thank you thank you thank you how you doing this morning i'm oh, doing good it's uh we had a busy night with the fantasy fest parade yeah yeah i love uh, y'all's costumes I was up bright and early over at Gillstone Coffee House, getting that going. Yeah. Swung back here and had a chance to listen to you guys this morning a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's all fired up. Sounds to me like a lot of people already in town. Oh, there are. I mean, um, I don't really think the, the crowd this year was as big as years past, in my opinion. Yeah, it um, seemed, it uh, still- looking at the videos, you know, we had some live streams from outside of uh, Sloppy Joe's and uh you know a couple people did videos and stuff it seemed pretty tame to me i think it was um you know fred bushy from rick's called me yesterday Mm -hmm. i mean he's i think he's on his you know if he's got nine lives he's got eight and a half used (laughs) right (laughs) right and he just wanted to check in with me make sure because he he sounded tired on the phone yeah um but uh yeah these he said they've had a pretty busy time down at, at rick's you know, with Fancy Fest. I guess they had like 300 kids from Miami come in the other night. And yeah. Got crazy there, too. So, well, that was another thing I noticed just from a distance. It looked like a, a younger crowd. You know, it is a younger crowd this year. I was kind of surprised uh, to see the, the numbers of all these young kids out there having a good time and carrying on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very different. Yeah. It feels yeah. different. It feels yeah. different. Well, there you go. Well, cool, man. Uh, we are almost to the jumping off point here uh, for the sixth annual Tiki Man Radio Songwriter Showcase, Key West Bound. And, uh, man. Um, yes. <laughs> Good year. We, um, man, six years goes by fast, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> um, but we're we're so excited to uh, get back down there, and, and um, we're we're all lined up, ready to go, man. And uh, things uh, are moving right along. We we were joking about it earlier in the show that this year, uh, you know, it's like it's been been pretty quiet. <laughs> it's kind of freaked us out because we're used to just running around like a chicken with our head cut off. I just hope you're not late getting in. Yeah, uh, you know we, that's another thing. Everybody's uh, flights are uh, delayed because of fog and this and that. You know, Verona's getting drunk in a bar up in Canada right now, <laughs> waiting to get on the plane. waiting to get on the plane. Uh, Flaz and the, about drunk on a plane. Yeah, <laughs> Flaz and Larice are uh, waiting for the fog to to settle in uh, Atlanta. I mean, you know, yeah, it, we don't have much wiggle room, so. No, no. And, you know, hopefully uh, everything goes well for you. (laughs) I I have to tell you, you know, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, too. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, too. I'm very nervous. Well, you know, normally, listen, I've I've heard so much crap from uh, Key West Chris about not attending the barbecue, right? That's right. And he, he always attends, he always has the damn barbecue like on Tuesday. So well, it's on Monday this time. And this year, after we made all these arrangements, he's like, no, we're going to have it on Monday. I'm like, damn it. You know, because we could have come in on Tuesday, right? And left on Tuesday and did the barbecue. So I told him, I told him when they were here for the summer party, I'm like, listen, I'll make sure we're at the barbecue this year. So that was the whole point of doing Wednesday to Wednesday, thinking that the barbecue was on Tuesday. We're going to have to take our own chairs because it sounds like half the island's going to be there. Yeah, uh, I believe we will have to. Yeah, I sent him a message the other day. How much chicken you got? <laughs> I know. No, no Start cooking it now. <laughs> yeah. But that's how we uh, – and really, honestly, I wanted to come in right before the show and um, not be so wore out before the show starts. <laughs> uh And then, you know, get the show done, be all in good spirits, and then rest afterwards, you know. So – 
that, that was the plan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's no easy way well, to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray. <laughs> I think we need it. We certainly need it. Yeah. But, well, you know what? I'll tell you. Um, I, I gotta say this. Um, everybody's pretty much heard the announcement what MOTM's doing for next year. Yeah, we were talking about earlier. Talked about that earlier in the show. We did. Um, what I found interesting. This morning, I was tagged in a message um, from Key West Keys Inc., hmm. who made a comment that you know, kind of a you know somberish year, you know, knowing that this is going to be the last year for Parrot Heads. And in that stream of comments were people saying, "I'm still going. I'm still going. We should have our own week. We should have our own MOTM week without them." Yeah. So uh, that was perfect opportunity for me. Hmm. To start throwing, here's what we're doing next year. Here's what we're doing this year. Come yeah. by, blah blah blah. So, um, there. I I think next year is going to be good for us. Good. Well, you know, good when when you called me and said, "Hey, man, there's this new place across the street called Tiki House, and they want to do some kind of music festival during me of the month." And I'm like, "Hey, we can make that happen." When you you called me, I had no idea that it was going to get so big that me of the minds had to leave town. <laughs> exactly. You know, they just couldn't uh, compete you know, with us. <laughs> I, I want to. I want to stress this, and I, and I tell a lot of people because I've had this question asked. You know, are we taking over MOTM? And I said, I go. I don't want that headache. No, 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 no. Uh, we, we do what we do. You know, I mean, our our goals, our mission is a lot different than what theirs were. We sure. just like to have like to have fun, give people an opportunity, uh, and I think we've done that going on six years now absolutely and uh, i think that uh, people people have and i think that's why you know it kind of caused caught us off guard because we're kind of used to things uh, you know last year we had some artists at the last minute change right so we didn't yeah. skip a beat we just immediately come up with a new plan for this year to where we you can secure artists a certain way and, and get different sponsors and all that kind of stuff and boom worked out perfectly which I believe now that we've been doing it so long that, that people understand, listen, if you're going to be a part of that, make sure you're there and understand how well it's run, you know, because, uh, yeah. you know, we, uh, we, I think we've subtly put out there that there is a list, <laughs> you know, and you don't want to end up on that list and not play the event. Yeah, don't end up on that list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you'll be eating 50 eggs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten eggs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I, we, we have stayed true to the very beginning of this. Yeah. What musicians come in, the locals, you know, uh, the, the, the older artists that, you know, we love to have that, you know, it's, it's all about the people. You know, I always stress it's free, but take care of the musicians, take care of the charity. That's right. Um, be a part of, be a part of us. Now I will say, we, we talked about having a photo booth and that has, Kind of fell in the cracks it wasn't fred's fault the girl who does that um i i think of what he said yesterday uh, her, her stuff got ripped off oh man oh, that's so a shame. but he does have an area that we can take photos and stuff so he you know people want to do that then we're good there but i know that's one thing we talked about maybe next year we can do the photo booth thing and, and yeah uh, make that happen well yeah uh, we talked about it about a week ago i'm like you know i hadn't heard anything about that is that still happening you know that kind of thing but uh Listen, there'll be plenty of pictures. There'll be plenty of things to do. Uh, it's, it's you know, we'll have food there. It's free to the public. All right? You don't have to. All seats are VIP. You just need to come early to get closer to the stage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah, we were talking earlier about the announcement with Me in the Minds, and, and I made a prediction that I feel like that – Next year, it'll be something called like a Trop Rock Week, right? The caravan will yeah. leave Gulf Shores and go all the way down to Key West. I wouldn't be surprised if the TRMA uh, award show is not in Key West at the Key West Theater, the the normal week that it is, and that kind of thing. I wouldn't be surprised everybody jumps on board with this and, and uh, makes it happen. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. It's... I, I think the biggest thing we're going to have is, is our SAC awards. I mean, that's, that's that, fantastic. That, that trumps <laughs> yeah. a lot of the other. That you're exactly right. There. I think that people are going to come from all over the world to uh, be a part of the SAC awards. Yeah. And actually, I, I think the award, you look at what they give you, Trop Rock Music 
and all that crap, you know, that these guys come up with. And it's, yeah. what is it, a wave looking, a little glass wave? Yeah. Yeah. Having that sack of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> a sack I'm a winner, of nuts. baby. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, anybody can get a, you know, a fancy little uh, trophy, but I mean, you, you have a sack of nuts hanging in your house, you know, I mean, or sitting in your house, you know. On the, well, you know, you know people come over to the house and what is that? Oh, that's my sack award. A handmade <laughs> by Tim Campbell <laughs> and Patty. I you mean, put yeah. those two awards on a shelf. I know. They're going to go, oh, nice wave. That's a cool sack. That's a cool <laughs> sack of nuts right there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get more conversation over a sack of nuts than, yes. you know. Not yeah. only is it an award, it's a conversation piece. Well, yeah. <laughs> All you buddies are coming over, you know, Saturday night, drink beer. You just bring your sack of nuts out there and put it on the bar. I like these know. nuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what well, is that? How many people want to rub that thing? Oh, yeah. Now listen, <laughs> keep your hands off my nuts, all right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Where'd you get that award at? Well, let me tell you about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Conversation yeah. piece, there, eh? you know. So uh, that's, yeah. it trumps all the other awards, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so I'm so excited to have those guys there. I'm, I'm just tickled to death, uh, you know, that things are working out the way they are. And, um, you know, we talked earlier about the announcement that, you know, and I believe flights is going to be an issue with people. And I believe the rates in Key West will be a whole lot better next year. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You know, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, one thing I didn't think about that I saw in the comments was people talking about, well, I guess I'm going to have to choose between Fancy Fest and Me in the Minds now. Because by moving it up that one week, that's the same week as Fancy Fest. Right, right. And a lot of people would come down and do, you know, Fancy Fest and be a part of the Keep parade. Keep staying till the parade. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then catch the uh, boat race uh, parade and then, you know, leave town. Yeah, yeah. Not. Um, it, it'll be interesting it'll, how this all works out. You know, if, if my preference would be, I'd rather see boobs out in the street than boobs up on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, but you know what? I, I, I got to say this. I mean, every year our sponsors mm. ante up to do a lot of cool things. I mean, sure. you, know, you got Key West Realtor, you got Gypsy Travels, who with their, their goaltending services, Reggae Wines. Uh, um, MFG Recording, uh, Tropical, mm-hmm. uh, Cammy's Grammy, Castaway Sauce Company, but a lot, you know, those those guys have stepped up big yeah. for the cameras and sponsoring our musicians. But you know, all the swag that we get, Clemente's, Nail Teeny, Kaya Island Eats, Sushi Song, uh, The Breakfast Club 2, Kermit's, who's been with us from day one. Yep. Yes. Um, John Paul, who's got I more love artwork John Paul. this year. Um, Art Centula, more artwork. Maureen, who the second year in a row has given us money. I know. Mo, Mo second oh, year in a row. Coyotes, yeah. Carol, and, and Beer. Barefoot Billies gave us some really cool. Um, oh, yeah, we need to talk a little trip. bit about that. Tell us about that. The Barefoot Billies? Yeah. Yeah. They gave us a, um, a sunset cruise for two and a, uh, a snorkel uh, cruise out of this. You know, I mean, and. For two people, and those 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 sell for well over a hundred dollars each. Sure, you know. Actually, I think they're like two hundred dollar packages because they're like seventy or eighty dollars per person to go on these things. Yeah, and for, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, of course, uh, B Man and Michelle have their Coastal Confessions on one hundred four point nine. Barefoot Billies, uh, <laughs> which Barefoot Billies has been in Key West for a long time, but now sponsors the entire radio show or he runs the radio yeah. show yeah. 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 yeah yeah and so um and we simulcast that show on tiki man radio which is very cool yeah and, you know and so i mean they stepped up you know you got keys construction of course barefoot radio you, you've got gary i mean we all the free advertisement we've been doing with those guys i mean mm-hmm. that's pretty cool you've got gary on saturday he's gonna gonna come down and, and broadcast with you the two of you together so it's going to be on not only Tiki Man Radio but Barefoot Radio that day. Yeah, that's always um, fun. That's uh, we've got a string of uh, simulcasting uh, together uh, at events in Key West uh, going on for a long time now. That's right. Yeah, and the last three Manja Manja Tune Designer, who I use for all my music, um, they've been good about helping to advertise from their standpoint. And then of course, uh, Sean Martin, who is with Surf Riders, our charity, he's bringing a bunch of Pilar swag. Yep. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, in all the meetings I've had with Fred, he's got some drink specials that he's going to be using Pilar in. 
Nice. Awesome. Nice. We're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs there like we did last year. You know, there's no reason to go anywhere. That's right. That's right. Fantastic. And I uh, got a little pizza there around the corner if you want to go over there. But uh, there's plenty of food. There's plenty of places to sit. There's plenty of places to hang out. There's bartenders, uh, plenty of bartenders taking your drinks. Uh, there's absolutely no place, no no reason to go anywhere else. Uh, but uh, if you if you haven't been yet, uh, this is the time to come and check it out because we'll be there in 2023 when you're going to be back in Key West. Yes, and yes. Uh, of course, move. Surf Riders again this year, and we're donating a uh, guitar, uh, or we're going to raffle guitar, off yeah. a, a guitar. Raffled Tell a us guitar. a little bit about that, right quick. Yeah. Um, Compliments of Back to the Island, if you really remember who those people were. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we'd like to thank him, but we can't find him to thank him. He's not answering yeah, I mean, our phone he's, calls. He's, uh, he's incognito. He's right around the corner. He's probably that bum that ate all my candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you may be right about that. You may want to go turn him over and say, is that you, Dan? Is that you? Yeah. Like, kick him three or four times. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the guitar, man. <laughs> yeah, we got, again, last year we did the, the guitar and um, that went well. We've made eight hundred dollars off of uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, it wasn't a raffle, but it was silent auction. Silent auction, yeah. Um, and Gypsy Travel won that last yeah, year. Yeah, she did. She did. I was actually trying to let her know this year. I'm like, got another guitar. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. But we're doing the same thing. We put a nice design on it. It's got the uh, the logo that uh, Green Woman did for the. Uh, the songwriter showcase mm-hmm. so we've got that on there um really nice it, it's got brand new strings i mean it's a great guitar yeah so we're hoping to be able to make some more money off of that this year um and the in the rap itself yeah the rap itself was designed by uh danny hoy right yeah um i gave her the ideas and all the stuff and i of course we used to have jody Foster, not the actress, right. that used to work on uh, designs for us, and she's no longer doing that. So I was like, "Well, if I did it, it's going to look like a little stick men on there." So I got to get a <laughs> get a hold of Danny, and, and she uh, she went ahead and did the design up for us, and mm-hmm. I told her to slap her signature on there. So we'll get all the musicians to sign it as well, yep. like we did last year. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll we'll make a, a good uh, profit off of that. It all goes to surf riders. There you go. Yeah. And uh, we've been partnered with them for a while. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to having that again. You know, we used to have like so many in, in different years, things would happen. Like one year, Mexico Beach got wiped out up above Panama City. So we raised some money for those guys. Uh, Irma came through our first year. And so we were raising money for Key Strong. Uh, you know, so different years, different things happen. But uh, for the most part, we've had surf riders, you know, kind of rolling along with us there. That first year, we had four charities, and it damn near killed me. Yeah, and, and we learned, <laughs> right? All that. And, and, you know, like, people tell me all this time, I can't remember the guy's name that runs uh, the um, Key West uh, Mile Zero. What's his name? Oh, Kyle. Kyle, yeah. yeah. Kyle. Kyle. So whenever we were hanging out with uh, whatever that guy's name, it used to be Back to the Island. <laughs> <can't> <laughs> Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, we went to the private event last year or whatever, and uh, we were over there, and um, I was talking to Kyle about it, and and I was like, well, you know, we've learned a lot that first year. We learned this, we learned not what to do, and and we just keep on rolling. He says that's exactly the way professional festival people learn is they they trial and error and keep on going. You know, the best laid plans doesn't always work out, or it sounded like a great idea at the time. But I got to tell you, every time we've made a major decision about how we were going to do the lineup or how we were going to do the show or we're going to move it or whatever, it's usually uh, works out exactly the way. We, I don't think we've ever made a decision. Like, well, that's we won't ever do that again. That sucks. I mean, you know, tweaking here and there. But any yeah, kind of major yeah. change we've made, it's always worked out exactly how we had it in our head. Oh, I think so. I, I think, you know, you and I have over the last six years have taken the hard knocks of and, and you and i are the worst critics of our of what we do <laughs> yeah you that's true you know, yeah especially when we sit around the round table at night and look at each other going what the hell was we thinking yeah you know, or, well that was hey, a bunch of crap right. yeah yeah <laughs> Bring another bottle of that crap yeah. over there <laughs> you got any more whiskey yeah yeah i got whiskey yeah <laughs> but you know we've learned from it sure. um we've walked away with better knowledge of how to approach the next day or how to approach the next year right right 
and it's it's just it's worked for us you know um you know we don't really you know other than i listen to you over to cemetery in the morning he's going serenity now (laughs) (laughs) god give me strength it's so you know. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, somebody pops their head up and go, hey, man, I'm trying to sleep. Hey, man, <laughs> shut up, you bunch of damn drunks. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've, we've come a long way with it. And, you know, w- will there be issues this year that, you know, we'll, we'll incorporate in next year? Of course. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but uh, for the most part, everything, you know, if, if uh, you know, all of the crew that's going to be down there helping us, uh, we're going to get started earlier that first day on Thursday. And, oh, yeah. Because we got to yes. set everything up, uh, make sure everything's working right, hang banners. So if you want to be down there and help us out, uh, we would certainly would appreciate Please. it. Uh, use all the help we can. Setting up and taking down seems to be the biggest thing. And that's something we had to learn last year. Uh, we had a plan going into it with volunteers and all kinds of stuff. But the, the big space, right, uh, having that big a venue is the first time that we've had anything that big, and that changes things a little bit, right? I mean, all of a sudden we've got a place yeah. over here for people to set up their their swag, and they can be over there. So we got those people over there, and, and you know, it's a it's a long ways to the front of the bar, and and all this, is, you know, you know, long ways to take our gear and put it somewhere. So we've had to work our way through that and learn what to do and what not to do as well. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's been a fun experience. Sure. You know, and, and I'm not by any means tired of it, you know, or going, God, we're doing this again, you know. It's, yeah. I guess, I, you know, we take a little bit of time off, but, you yeah. know, I try to approach it with a new, fresh face, a new, fresh look. You know, what do we've got going on? Like you said earlier, this year has seemed really, I, I, I would sit there and go, it's too easy this year. What's wrong? <laughs> you know? There's something not right here, you know. Yeah. Have I forgotten something? And, yeah, and uh, I don't want to jinx us, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to forget anything. Yeah, I think it was uh, Ed who called, and he's like, "Listen, man, it's awful quiet. Y'all need any help with anything?" So <laughs> <laughs> no, we it, just know what we're I doing. Think it's just, uh, you know, it's like when we lost an artist. Yeah, you know, it's like, well, we'll just fill it with somebody else that's on the list, you know, and right. work our way. And what can we do? And if it happens the day of, well, who's ever on stage? You want to play longer or whoever might pop in? Hey, I got a hole. You want to fill it? It's just one of those things how we've magically work it. Sure. Yeah. Well, man, we're looking forward to being down there. And I can't think, you know, I said it earlier in the show that if uh, you call me tomorrow and says, I ain't never doing this again. I'm done with this. I'd be like, all right, me too. You know, because uh, that's just, uh, I wouldn't do this with anybody else for sure. Because, you know, I don't It'll think Michelle you. making that call. He ain't doing this no more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think you guys are ready to call it quits. Just well, yet. we've all been frustrated at some point in time sure. over the years, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's been like, you know, this sucks or whatever, you know, but, you know, once, once we see it all come together, you know, then we understand the magic behind it. Well, and I think, Look at what happened last year. I mean, frustration levels were high um, when they shouldn't have been. Um, Walking away from that last year after everybody's gone, I mean, I just, I I don't want to get that anymore. It shouldn't be that environment where we're all on pins and needles. Right, right. (laughs) You know, a lot of people, a lot of people didn't recognize it. You know, I'm sure, you know, we, we held our composure on certain things. Sure. But, you know. Be- working behind the scenes, you know, we all were kind of like on edge on a few things, and and I'm not that that's not going to happen this year or in years to come. You know, we're gonna, you know, we're all we all work together anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But leave the drama <laughs> up in Key Largo when you hit the the, the island chain because I don't want to hear or see it. That's right. That's I right. I don't want to hear or see it either. That was yeah. just a a total. Yeah, you know, sh- uh, we learned show. something from that. That's we one, sure one did. Learned. Yeah, like, this is how we're going to handle it. And you know, yeah. and, and again, that that works into uh, you know coming in on on Wednesday. I know it's it's cutting it kind of short. Now we got something to, to worry about, but <laughs> but you know, again, uh, because um, it does take a lot. I mean, mentally, right? 
it's not like we're we're building houses or anything here, but mentally all of the uh, you know the things going on behind the scenes, the sounds, the you know we've got all these cameras now, which is also a first time for us last year. There was a lot of first time yeah. things for us last year that we had to work out, uh, and it's so much more than just sitting down and doing radio. Uh, a lot of things going on behind the scenes and stuff like that. So I think we're a little more prepared for that now. I know I am. I think so. I, you know, I mean, I was just telling somebody today, you know, about how you've taken the cameras, the production of that at a whole new level, at a, new, a whole uh, professional level of production. And <clears throat> that's kind of all we do. Well, you know, I mean, we, we look at everything. I mean, I don't like I don't like things half ass. Yeah, me either. You no, know? drives me crazy. And and so, you know. Do I have like extra cables of extra cables? Yeah. Do I have extra this, extra that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, but I, I, I want it to come off right. Working with you, I know it comes off right. I mean, we, I think we both have that. I'm not going to do it this way. It's got to get done this way and not that way. You know, it, this is what we're going to do. Um, yeah. And, and that's what's, that's what's been fun. I, you know, I've had to tell people that, you know, before, you know, it's like, uh, listen, I don't do anything half-assed. I don't care what it is. You know, all right? I don't do anything half-assed. I just can't do it. I mean, it would drive me crazy if it's done half-assed, right? And, um, but, yeah, and we, we really owe your sister uh, a lot of that. I mean, if she hadn't taught us how to do that virtual show yeah. that year, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here right now. I mean, but, but again, go ahead. <laughs> I know we've said this story a hundred times, but I can remember us talking on the telephone and it's like, you know, I don't know. I, we got this. We got this. We'll hang up the phone. I'm like, I don't know if we got this. Yeah, I that's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's yeah. over our head. I I yeah, I don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> this is going to be a real shit show is what I said. It's, gonna, it's, gonna be, oh it's either going to go really, really well or really, really bad, you know, and, and I'm not. A, but, but having my sister <clears> on the <throat> other end and she's like. Hey guys, sound hey. good. Sound good. All right, we're gonna count down She's here. So great. Five, they're, they're, four, they both three, are. two, so one. Great. Yeah, and of course uh, he would be like, you know, what we'd be having all this. It took us weeks to get ready for it, and and you know we're trying to figure out the sound on the radio and all this stuff. And he's like, I wonder what would be causing that. Let me think here, you know. And we'd be just like sitting there, yeah, yeah. What is that? What is it? <laughs> you are like, oh, what the hell's going on? <laughs> but once we got our mind and it just something you know stuff like that it, it just clicks all of a sudden and you figure it out right i mean it, your mind it wraps around exactly what's happening then your yeah. mind is like wow we can do this we can do that we can do this with the why don't we just do this for the whole show you know it really and it really goes back to those guys man it really does well i felt bad for my sister last year because you know we had talked about using them again yeah. But I'm telling you, these two are always on the road doing this stuff for the business that they have. Right. And she got a hold of me and she goes, hey, uh, I haven't heard from you guys. Are you doing this? I'm like, you created a monster here. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you. We'll call you when we need satellite. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But because they were saying that. They're like, you know. For ten thousand dollars, we could do satellite. We could beam you across the world. You know, and I'm Man. like, we'll see. Yeah, give we'll us a couple see. more years here. We'll, yeah. we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah, but, but for them, you know, and, for, and what you've done, actually, I I feel a little behind, you know, with compared to what you're doing with your shows and stuff. And of course, I have a lot of people saying, well, why don't you do it live on 104 down here? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. One day, possibly. We'll see. <laughs> you know, until you you know my, my trials and issues with how the studio turns out up there. So yeah. until I know people won't be fingering all my stuff that I put up there, it will, we'll cross that bridge one day at some point. Well, it's a lot of work. I couldn't imagine having to bring all this in every week and setting it up, right? I just can't do it. As a matter of fact, everything in this studio does not leave anymore. I mean, right down to the last cord, last piece of equipment – cameras nothing because i don't want to have to uh we had a we took some of it out for the summer party this year and it was a cluster the next morning of course my head was still spinning from the night before and <laughs> yeah. I, i'm trying to find a, this one connector cord right i'm like this is the last time we're doing this all right last time well and and i think at some point 
I mean, I, I can do broadcasting, and you know, who knows how long I'll stay with 104.9. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you I'm, can I'm always one of those come. Guys where if you if you if you piss me off, <laughs> yeah, you know. So my it may be a, a tiki man radio exclusive, and then I'll hang hang cameras, you know, around here, and sure. we could do that kind of stuff here because stuff will be set up and no one will touch it. Well, you know how I feel about that, so you know. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> I keep getting these postcards from you. Yeah. One day you'll be a part of us exclusive. That's right. <laughs> It'd be so much easier in your life. <laughs> You're like, hey, Brian, come to the dark side. Come over here to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I mean, I know how you feel. Yeah. Well, buddy, uh, I appreciate everything you've done and uh, you know all the hard work that went into this year to get ready for this jumping off point. We can't wait to get down there. Hopefully everything will go well with the flights. And, yeah. Uh, uh, they will. I know they will. Yeah. I mean, one way or the other, you know, because I've driven from Key West to here before. One way or the other, I'll be there ready to do the show on time. Yeah, and it sucks. The drive sucks. It does. You know, I'm, you're always telling me, come up there. You know, I'm like. <laughs> the drive <laughs> sucks. Yeah. My mom. My mom's like, come to Morristown, you know, which is yeah. above you guys. I'm like. Sure. Mom, really? <laughs> It's Damn 20 drive. it's 20 hours. Yeah, it's 20 hour drive. So. It's closer to go for, from here to Canada than it is to there. Yeah. Isn't that bizarre? That is true. <sighs> And who the hell wants to go to Canada? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's cold up there, man. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yeah. All yeah. right, man. Well, we're going to let you fly. We've got to get to these uh, 12 o'clock sponsors and uh, get on with the show. But uh, we'll be down there Wednesday. Thank you for everything. And uh, I can't wait to see everybody uh, when we get down there, man. It's going to be like a big fan.